UFOs in particular has been relegated to a tabloid journal mm -hmm. the era, arena of science fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it, do you suppose, that, or do you believe that it's been given a fair shake by science, and if not, why not? No, it hasn't, because it's, um, it's rather clear there's been uh, a lot of misinformation, disinformation. There's been a very active effort on the part of uh, presumably people in the know to uh, discourage uh, public participation, media participation to discredit the whole whole area. And that seems to have been true for at least 50 years. And also, the uh, very existence of uh, an extraterrestrial presence, or an extraterrestrial existence even, uh, went against the conventional science of 30, 40 years ago. Uh, even when I went to the moon, almost 30 years ago now, it was the conventional wisdom, both in science and theology, that we were alone in the universe. And um, I don't think people really believe that anymore, but uh, that was a conventional wisdom. And the UFO reports had been going on for at least 20 years before that, and, and somewhat, almost 30 years before that. And <clears throat> being denied, 
and uh, swept into the rug and covered up and filled with this information. on other planets uh, oh yeah there's not much question at all but there's life throughout the universe we're not alone in the universe at all you're convinced that we're not alone in the universe oh i'm no for sure we're not alone in the universe and uh, i happen to be privileged enough to have uh, be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet and the ufo phenomenon is real although it's been covered up by our government for quite a long time it is a real phenomenon and uh, there's quite a few of us. There's, it's been well covered up by all of our governments uh, for the last 60 years or so. Uh, but slowly it leaks out. And some of us are privileged to have been briefed on some of it. But I've also been in military circles and intelligence circles that knows beneath the surface of what has been uh, public knowledge that, yes, we have been distant. But I have been deeply involved in certain committees and certain research programs with very credible scientists and very uh, intelligence people that uh, do know the real inside story, and I'm, I am not uh, hesitant to talk about it. There's been quite a few, there's quite a bit of contact going on. We have been visited. The Roswell crash was real, and a uh, number of other contacts have been real and ongoing. Uh, it's pretty well known to for, for, for those of us who have um, been briefed and have been close to the subject matter and that there's UFOs in the skies all the time that are very likely alien craft. Now, not all of them are. I suspect some of them are homegrown. I suspect that in the last 60 years or so that there has been some uh, back engineering and the creation of this type of equipment, but it's not nearly as sophisticated as, yet as uh, what the apparent visitors have. An object which is at the same place all the time but appears to be tumbling. Well, we've had it ever since yesterday. It just seems to be tagging along with us. Uh, we do see that. Okay. That's uh, looking out in front of the orbiter. Okay, we're seeing three or four objects. Uh, can, you, can you confirm that it's just the one that's actually moving? The other ones are just reflect, reflections? Now there are uh, there are three objects. The one you see, you see two rings right there. They're the ones we kind of had the late tally ho on. 
the one uh, down the bottom, that was the one we initially saw. We have an unidentified flying object.